This video is brought to you by Morning Brew, a free daily newsletter that delivers the latest business news from Wall Street to Silicon Valley directly to your inbox. Succinct and witty, it makes reading the news a fun way to start the day. Use the link in the description below and sign up for free now. He knows a lot about the science stuff, Professor Dave explains. Today we're going to check out a problem that has to do with stoichiometry and precipitation. So the question reads, what mass of silver chloride will precipitate when a solution containing 4.77 grams of sodium chloride is added to a solution with 5.77 grams of silver nitrate? So if you're not sure what to do, you're going to need to know a little bit about stoichiometry as well as precipitation reactions. So check out my tutorials on those subjects and then give this a try. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and write out the chemical equation. It's always good to write out the chemical equation so we can see exactly what we're dealing with. We can visualize things. Uh, that's going to be the best way to uh, set ourselves up to do stoichiometric calculations. So we have sodium chloride reacting with silver nitrate, right? We said that we have a solution containing sodium chloride, and we're adding that to a solution of silver nitrate. So those two compounds are the ones that are reacting, and then that is going to produce a silver chloride precipitate. So our Ag and our Cl is taken care of, but that leaves the sodium ion and the nitrate ion, so we also are going to be producing sodium nitrate. So that is our chemical equation, and it also happens to be balanced. We can see that we just have one of everything, so that's fine. We don't have to add any coefficients or anything like that. And so now let's, uh, let's use the data that we have. We know that we have 4.77 grams of sodium chloride, and we have 5.77 grams of silver nitrate. So let's go ahead and convert this to moles because we know that masses are not really going to help us. So uh, 4.77 grams divided by 58.44 grams per mole, that is the molar mass of sodium chloride, that means we have 0 0.0816 moles of sodium chloride. Then 5.77 grams of silver nitrate, we're going to divide that by 169.9 grams per mole. That is the molar mass of silver nitrate. That means we have 0 0.340 moles of silver nitrate. So because these are in a one-to-one -one ratio in the balanced chemical equation, this time it is very simple. It's just the one that we have less of is going to be what limits this reaction. So the silver nitrate is going to be the limiting reagent in this reaction. And because we also have a one-to-one -one ratio of silver nitrate and silver chloride, which is what we're trying to figure something out about, uh, we know that we're going to get a one-to-one -one ratio there. So we are going to produce 0.34 moles of silver chloride precipitate. Now it's very simple. We have the moles of precipitate we're going to form. All we need to do is convert that back into grams. And so let's take our 0.034 moles of silver chloride. Let's multiply by 143.32 grams per mole, as that is the molar mass of silver chloride. And that gives us 4.87 grams of sodium chloride precipitate. That will be the mass of precipitate that we get. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.